All right, in this video, we're going to go over the new ambient occlusion shader, or not necessarily shader, but option that you can uh, use inside plasticity. It'll definitely uh, make your scenes pop a little bit more on screen. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a custom eight or a custom uh, shader or mat cap from the Discord channel that I have that I really really like. It's kind of nice and clean, but there's not a whole lot of shading information. So working, having the ambient occlusion built in there, it's going to help out tremendously. So what you want to do is go to preferences because there's two different modes for ambient occlusion. So opening that up, go to your performance tab and we have a uh, enable and shader mode, which is basically these right here on the upper right. And that's your shader mode, not the render mode. Okay, you can enable it, and so it's always on. So highly recommended. You have a a nice little GPU going on here. I have a 3080 on my PC, so it's not a relatively new GPU, so it seems to handle it just fine. And I'm almost always running ultra quality, just so I can have some precision control with my curves. So let's go ahead and close that and take a look here. And as you can see, it's added a lot of information, shadows in the in the crevices and all that. And it's really, really adds a lot to the scene, helps you identify which where your shapes are. So let's go back to the options here under preferences. So you got your main performance here. OK, go to your appearance now. And right down here is your AO radius and fall off. Okay, let me reset it. This is your normal. Let me see. It looks like it clicks it off when I reset that. So go back to appearance. All right. So it starts with 10 and starts with 0.5 for your radius and fall off. So I think I had mine 12. Mm, I'll just do one. I, I can't remember what I had it at, but you can certainly uh, increase, decrease it to your liking there. So not only does this work in the shader mode, it does work in the render mode with all your other materials. And as you can see, you get some really nice effects there. And you even get a little drop shadow at the bottom of your scene. So it would be at the very bottom here, like where the landing gear is at. And that's basically it for ambient occlusion. Definitely a nice feature added to plasticity.